Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft, Viking Heritage. Today I'm up in Uxengard, a Viking village in the northern part of Denmark. Uh, I have been up here before making some videos about the village and uh, also a little Viking market uh, that was held here some months ago. Yeah. But today I'm up here uh, making a video about uh, weaponry and uh, armory uh, that the Viking could have used. And uh, I brought some stuff with me. As you saw, I got a sword and uh, other things. And of course, my new uh, shield here that I made uh, in the last, in the previous video. So, yeah. But today it's about uh, weaponry, weapons and uh, armory. Mostly weapon, uh, because the Vikings didn't use much armory. Uh, and I'll explain that uh, in a little while. So. I hope you enjoy this little video from the wonderful place up here in, in the northern part of Denmark. And uh, that you... yeah, first I will say, uh, during the Viking Age, uh, there was a development in the method they could uh, produce uh, iron on. So, in the start, and you remember, the Viking Age was about uh, a period of 300 years, and in the start of the Viking Age, uh, the iron was uh, very expensive. But during the Viking Age, when it blended over to the Middle Age, um, the iron was more common. But um, it's important to remember this because much of the weapons that I show today is not for every man. Uh, if you are rich, you could buy uh, some weapons with more iron. But if you were a poor man, a farmer, you didn't have access to much iron. So the weapons you had was uh, very small uh, compared to uh, the rich man. So. But um, I'll start with the um, bow and arrow and talk a little bit about that. Yeah, and the, the long bow was used <coughs> in the Viking Age by the Vikings and of course with some arrows too. And I didn't think that the uh, Vikings used uh, bows and arrows when they attacked Lindisfarne and other places they raided because it's not a weapon you can use like that. It's more when you are facing a, a large challenge, a big army, then you can use the uh, bow and arrow uh, first to uh, shoot some arrows at the opponent and uh, perhaps killing some, perhaps uh, injuring some, and then you can attack with the other weapons you have. But uh, when they uh, made their raids on the monasteries and uh, cities and so on, uh, my opinion is that they didn't use much bow and arrow there, but it's a nice uh, weapon and they certainly used it for hunting. Uh, when they were out in the forest they could hunt animals with bow and arrows. And uh, such a longbow should be uh, a little bit taller than the man that used it. I'm six foot three and this bow is a little bit short for me, but uh, it's very doable and uh, I can uh, hit a target uh, precisely if I uh, it's good enough for that. So the uh, Vikings definitely used bows and arrows, but mostly for hunting and uh, when they faced a large army, so they could uh, hurt them from a distance. And the next thing I would like to talk about is the spear. Uh, there were different kinds of spear. This one I bought uh, in uh, Germany, I think. Uh, they used larger uh, heads. Uh, than this, but this was also a way to uh, attack the enemy. You can use it as a throwing a spear, but again, uh, if you're facing a large army, uh, this will probably be a good way to kill some before you face them man to man. But mostly they used this uh, spear uh, when they were facing the enemies. When they made a shield vault, they could stand behind the shield vault with the spears and pick and kill uh, the enemy uh, through the spear wall. And uh, that was very efficient 
and that's why uh, there are different kinds of length in the handles of the spear. This one is not particularly long, but it could do. And as you can see in this uh, video from uh, Uxengard, they use it very often when they practice their fighting here. So uh, it was a good way uh, to attack the enemy from a distance uh, through the shield walls and uh, perhaps kill or injure uh, your enemy. And then to the most common weapon uh, in the Viking Age, it was the axe. Yeah. And there were uh, lots of different kind of axes. Uh, there was this one, uh, kind of big one, and then I have my smaller one here in my belt. Of course they could use the axe for chopping wood and so on, but in a combat uh, this was a very uh, efficient weapon uh, they could use. Um, there's also an axe called a Dane axe. It, it was a special axe. The head was uh, very thin and lightweight and the handle was uh, more than two meters. And then they could stand behind the shield wall again and attacking the enemies over the shield wall with a long axis and uh, probably uh, kill them or uh, injure them very uh, severe so that uh, they were not able to fight anymore. So that was uh, a weapon that was used and again because of the iron, uh, the price and so on and iron, uh, this was a great weapon and most uh, common people could afford uh, getting an axe. So this is a good weapon and um, the special design is called a skeg axe. This is like a beard skeg on, um, on Danish and um, that's why I call it a skeg axe. I got this from Grimfrost uh, and of course I put links to all my gear uh, in, my, uh, in my video description or to my website so you can find it if you want to uh, get something similar like this. This is a great weapon and uh, the most common used in the Viking Age. And then now to my new thing, uh, my new uh, sword from Grimfrost. It's a Leuten uh, Schwert and uh, it's a replica from a uh, find in Norway, Leuten in Norway. I must say, uh, many of the gears, the weapons and the jewelry and so on that are uh, sold in Grimfrost are actually made from replicas of uh, original findings. It's made out of uh, bronze and of course uh, steel here, high carbon steel, and it's very heavy. I think it's about one and a half kilo. And uh, yeah, and the scabbard, uh, the sheet here, it uh, fits nicely. I really appreciate this uh, weapon. I'm not going to begin. Um, Fighting. Uh, there are some uh, fighting groups, Vikings here in Denmark, and I could probably join them, but uh, I think I'm too old for that. So I just have it with me on some of my trips and hang it on my wall. But I think it's a cool weapon, and uh, yeah, it was only uh, the rich people that had could afford uh, a sword because there's a lot of iron in it. You can understand that, and. Uh, you have to be a Jarl or King, or a very important person, if you had money enough so that the blacksmith could make such a weapon for you. But I like it, and yeah, I think it's cool. Leuten Schwert. But this weapon was good in combat. Of course, you can stand behind the shield and uh, swing your sword and, uh, and uh, hit the enemy and injure him uh, very severe. So um, I think the Vikings uh, was all dreaming of having a sword uh, at that time. And of course, uh, the later in the period, the more people had uh, access to iron and could afford a sword. But in the start of the Viking Age, not many people could afford uh, buying a sword. But uh, an alternative to a sword, uh, you can use your CX, not my Kimber CX. It would be too small for that. But 
a larger one like this one, also from Grimfrost. This is a, a little sword you can use uh, in uh, in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. Uh, so there's not uh, so much iron in this, so many people, more people could afford uh, buying a CX. And uh, they also was longer than this. You can have it on your side, like a little sword. And uh, yeah, so this could be an alternative to uh, a sword. Now a little bit about the armory. Um, of course, a shield was uh, armory they could use and they could uh, make them themselves. It was not particularly uh, difficult and uh, lots of Vikings had a shield and they could hang it uh, along the side of the longship, the Viking longship, and uh, have them ready when they are attacking uh, cities and so on uh, inland. So this was a good armor and a cheap one. The only thing is this one, it's called a Bosch, I think, and uh, it's made of out of iron and you had to, of course, uh, have access to iron. Then the next thing, a helmet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of iron in this and because of that, not many Vikings used helmets. And uh, of course, it's a cliche that the uh, Vikings had horns on the helms, so uh, there's no evidence of that. But it's very heavy and uh, it can protect you uh, from uh, an axe blow to the head. And probably the uh, rich people, the Jarls and kings, would have uh, worn such a helmet. But yeah, uh, the Vikings did use helmets and uh, it's very heavy to have on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it was only for protection, not for the good looks that they use helmets here. And then there was uh, chain mail. Um, I think it's called uh, uh, clothing made out of small rings, small chains that they could wear and it was very efficient if the axe uh, hit the hit the, the, the chain mail uh, they wouldn't go through it and even arrows and so on could protect them from that but again it's a lot of iron and uh, the common uh, man didn't have access to uh, such much iron so it was only again for the rich people that could use that of course later in the Viking Age and in the beginning of the Middle Age here in northern part of Europe, more and more people had uh, access to iron and could afford buying uh, more armor, so they were more protected. And uh, of course they could have uh, gloves on, made of uh, thick leather, and also some protection on the shoulders with uh, some padding and uh, thick leather. That would help them to protect the body uh, from uh, spears and arrows and perhaps a small axe. But most common uh, Vikings didn't use armor, uh, at least not in the start of the Viking Age. And uh, the story about the berserkers, uh, there's lots of different stories about them, but they say that they were dressed out like a wolf or a bear uh, or even naked. They just went berserk without thinking about their own uh, security and safety. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of stories about these uh, berserkers and it's very interesting too. Yeah, that was uh, the things I have wanted to tell you about the Viking weapons and armory. And now I think it's the time for a cup of coffee. Yeah.
Yeah, folks, this is all for now. Thank you for watching Kimma Bushcraft and Viking Heritage. Uh, it's been a wonderful day up here in Ixengard, and uh, if you ever come up here in the northern part of Denmark, take and visit this wonderful place. Uh, nice people up here, and yeah, uh, so authentic, and uh, I can only recommend you to uh, visit this. Yeah, yeah. And remember, I'm not an expert in uh, Viking weapons or armory, but I think the broad picture I've uh, told you about the Viking weapons and armory is uh, accurate as far as I can tell. So. Thank you again for watching Kimmer Bushcraft Viking Heritage and then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care.